For over 30 years, Cascade has been the most trusted helmet in lacrosse. Introducing the Cascade S. Cascade, passion to protect. Hey guys, this is Greg Beast here. I know it's been a few weeks, uh, PLL season, craziness, uh, rehabbing my hamstring and all, but I have a couple uh, minutes now this weekend to bring up a couple new beast labs. This week's variation is gonna be about upgrading your rake arsenal. So standing neutral grip, you have many different options that I feel like people don't understand the nuances of the standing neutral grip rake and how many different variations there are and how you can use them. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this two parts. First, I'm gonna go over a couple of tactical uh, unique things that I teach with my rake, uh, the things that I do with it that I think give guys a huge advantage. And then I'm gonna show them to you and how you can progress on them. So the first things first, when you're holding your stick, when you're going neutral grip, okay, neutral grip is the opposite of moto grip when we double over. So we're gonna go here. I think a lot of guys, when they go rake, they hold it in the palm of their hand and they try to roll their wrist and come underneath. Okay, now yes, rolling the wrist and pulling is part of it. But when you wanna get your stick to go flat really quick, rather than roll your wrist like this, I tell my guys to hold your stick in these knuckles right here of your fingers, rather than the knuckle of your fist. Okay, so we're gonna hold it here. Now by rule, you have to have the stick in your hands, you have to be holding it with both hands and both gloves have to be touching. So it doesn't mean that you have to have the, the shaft in your palm. I put it in these knuckles here. Now, if you wanna do that while you're watching this video, try this at home, okay? Because your goal is to get your stick. You're not going over like a clamp. You're coming underneath. So, what's faster? Rolling your whole wrist or making a fist? And the answer is making a fist. These are smaller motor units, and when you have your fingers on the whistle, you just do that, your stick will get flat very quick. While you, if you do that quickly while pulling to the left, or pushing into this, the uh, opponent's head, uh, depending on which rake variation you're using, you can get there quicker. So this gives you that split second quickness. So this is something you wanna practice, holding the stick, making the fist, so that head flattens out really quickly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys how to use this grip, and then how to use it in a progression for your different rake variations. Okay, so there's three different variations of rake. There's a laser rake in which you come over the top here. There's a quick rake where you pull to the left immediately here and you use this portion, uh, the flare out of the head. And then there's the power rake where you use the sidewall and you go straight in, okay? So what we're gonna do is first, like we said, we're gonna hold the stick here in these knuckles, not in our palms so we have to roll, okay? Hold it here and make that fist so it's nice and quick, okay? Now, the quick rake, vary, the, the laser rake variation is standing neutral grip. You're going to roll over and you're going to try to get the bottom sidewall over the ball. This is the hardest one to pull off, especially in today's day and age where there's face-off specific heads. Players are better than ever at punching that right hand in. This is the hardest variation to get because you have to get the bottom sidewall to come over top of the ball and, get, and beat a guy who is good at getting his top sidewall straight to the ball. So just at a deficit, you guys are at a deficit already. You're running a longer race than your opponent um, by doing this laser rake. But in order to do it, in order to progress to it, what you're going to do is you're going to make this fist and you're going to get your top over. So first you do this to get that flat. Practice that motion. And then you're going to come over the top right here. Okay, so one, two, one, two, one, two. And then you're going to try to combine them. So you come here and you come all the way across. Okay. And that's what you're going to work on making that fist and coming over the top. Now, the second variation is our quick rake variation. Quick rake uses the advantage because now our bottom sidewall, if you look at it from this angle, is closer to the ball than our opponent's top sidewall would be. So you have the advantage to come underneath. So if you have a guy who's faster than you on the rake, this is a great way to try to neutralize that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to pull the ball to the left right on the whistle. And the reason you pull it to the left is because, one, obviously you want to get it this way. But, two, if you can get your opponent to clamp with the floppy part of his head up here while you're pushing the ball to the left, you have a very good chance of pulling it. If you go against an opponent who tends to sit down in his clamp, okay, say his knee's in no man's land, and he tends to punch down the line and sit back, he would be a perfect 
uh, candidate for you to take advantage of that and pull the ball to the left because their body weight's going that way and you can pull them down the line this way. And remember, even if they get the clamp, they have one step to get out of there so you can stand up. So this quick rake variation, you're gonna practice and you're gonna try to uh, dial in this motion by trying to get your sidewall right up against the ball without moving the ball, okay? And that's your goal. Okay, notice how I'm pulling it to the left a little bit, starting in the middle, coming down the line, so I'm touching it with the flare out of the head, and then you work on the rest of it by pulling, okay? Right here. So that a good way to build up to that as a coach, blow the first whistle, one, blow the second whistle, pull. And you, you're really trying to make sure that they hit it at the flare out of the head because that's the strength of this. Boom, pull. Okay, two go call. Tweet, tweet. Okay, so that's the quick rake. Now, the power rake is an entirely different animal because what you're going to do now is you're banking on them clamping on top of your head. So what you're going to do now is you're actually going to drive this sidewall straight into the ball. Boom. And you're going to go right in the middle so that when they clamp on top of your head, space is created here rip the ball straight out from under them. If you want a really detailed tutorial of how it looks against another head, go to my LSM FO athlete breakdown uh, on this YouTube channel, and I will explain the nuances up against another head of how long poles use this move. Um, but this is obviously just a buildup for that. So same thing. We're going to flex right here, make our fist, boom, straight up against the ball. Then we rip because this is a two-part motion. In a game, you would not do both motions at the same time. It would be here, he clamps on your stick, then you rip it out from underneath him, okay? Right here, boom. Notice how my knuckles drive into the ground, then I pull, okay? And once again, right here, in, the fing in our finger knuckles, not our palms, so I have to roll. Because if I did it like that, it would look like this, right? What I want is this, nice and light, okay? Boom, boom, and I can rip. One, two. One, two. Okay, so those are your three rake variations. Laser rake, boom. Quick rake, boom. Power rake, boom. Okay, the reason we face off, guys have asked me before, standing neutral grip, the reason we do it standing instead of on a knee is pretty simple. If you are on a knee and your elbow is going this way, yeah, once in a while you'll be able to get up underneath a guy, but you're very, you're handcuffed this way. You have one motion and people will start to set their wings down here. You can only rip the ball forward because of the way your elbow moves. It drives you away when you're on a knee. If you stand up, you can go into the ball as well. So you have the option to go pinch and pop and you can get to your feet and go. If you do rip the ball out on a knee, you have to stand up and chase it anyway. So you lose the advantage of that standing neutral grip. Okay. So quick rake, laser rake, power rake. Those are the progressions. Work on getting the ball uh, head up against the ball and work on your flexion, making a fist. You'll also notice um, by default, you'll be building that forearm as well. All right, guys.